Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Um, I want to thank you for watching my last video and thank you for all the amazing comments. I'm going to be fine. It's just a matter of I sleep with a fan and I turned it off and oh my goodness, yesterday I woke up and I haven't been dizzy since then. I'm always dizzy anyways, but it is what it is. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a... Um, an update on the coasters there it's been two days so it's still a little bit bendy but not like it was now it did say two to four days to cure and I wasn't meaning anything bad by it I was just comparing it to what I normally use which is the crystal resin this is let's resins crystal that they sent me to try so yeah no and I really do not know why the alcohol ink did that I have done the alcohol ink in several different resins and I've never had that and I've always used the pinata. Um, I've never had that happen to me before but it is what it is and I don't know whether I may have had too much of the white pigment in there. I don't know. I'm used to using again when I first started doing these it was the casting craft opaque pigment white. So. There's those little differences. Now the clear ones turned out pretty neat. Like, I mean, it did work. So it's just a matter of, and it, my table was level and everything kind of shifted too, which is kind of weird, but it is, these turned out cool. So I may do a backing of something because I pulled them out. I didn't want to have put more resin in if they didn't turn out. Cause normally that when I do do mine, I do like to do a backing of glitter so you have two sides right because there's always the one side never looks nice except for those other coasters both sides turned out pretty cool so anyways I just want to give you an update on that um, and today we are gonna do oh one more thing I've been mentioning um, my cousin um, I'm breaking all of my firsts with her, which is quite cute, Sandra. I made my first big bling bling. I did a video. I'm pretty sure I did the video. The um, video isn't the greatest quality because it was so huge. I only had two lights at the moment, but now I have a second set of lights that I have at my trailer I brought back home. So with this one, I'm going to have my other light setups i'm hoping that i can get a better picture quality with it um i did my first bling bling it was five feet by four feet i think the biggest canvas that michael sells anyways and that's what i did a bling bling half black half gray all the glass the glitter amazing so now she wants me to do a geode and she wants it black white and gold with the that's why I was buying these molds to try and make different geodes because I did our little crystals because I didn't want to have to spend the money because they're very expensive so she wanted three foot by three foot so 36 by 36 inches she wanted three of them so that would make it like nine feet long I don't have a working space down here my table is eight feet which is a lot but not enough to carry a nine foot three plus you have to have a separation plus they have to be level so anyways long story short she decided that oh my goodness that was too big so she wants two foot by two foot so 24 by 24 so where I buy my crystal um oh my goodness liquid glass oh my, my brain is not working where I buy the liquid glass um it's an art it's called art noise in kingston ontario and they're a supplier of everything tri art so they have this company out of montreal that makes these um i'm pretty sure the birch pine or birch wood cradle boards that's what i'm trying to spit out and these ones are 24 by 24 it's only 30 dollars and 55 cents like that is ridiculous and you don't get a discount there, but you do, you know, it is what it is. And with it being the resin and being that big, I didn't want to trust it on a canvas. So 
I have three of these. I got the canvases. I'm excited. So that's going to be an upcoming video. I need to get it so that I have like two, maybe three days off in a row to work on this. So that's coming up. And when I went into, again, I have an issue. I went to Michael's looking for some more crystal -y things and all of their um, crystal and gem were on for 40% off in the um, jewelry section. They have this line, it's called Creations and it's bead landing. And it's meant for wire wrapping, which I've done. I've actually taken a course in Toronto on wire wrapping at, um, which is kind of cool. But they had these and everything was 70% off. I think they're getting rid of the line. But this one, they had lava. So this was 30, normally, 36 Canadian. I can't believe that's expensive. And they're polished lava rock. So I thought she wanted black and white and gold. So I thought maybe a couple of these would be kind of cool, embedded in and then have, uh, you can see it there, yeah. embedded <clears throat> in and then have the crystals around. And so it ended up being $11 because they were 70% off. So that was kind of cool. So if you're into wrapping, they had all of that stuff on. They had donuts, like, um, gems that were shaped like cut into donut size and cut into different shapes that you can wire wrap but that was 70 percent off and then of course i want to make myself a big geoid so i've got these same cradle boards for myself and they're i've got three pieces i think they're 12 by 24 two of them and then one is um oh i can't quite see it i think it's 18 by 24 but anyways i want to do a three piece for my living room and they had these on these are it doesn't tell that's hilarious it just says genuine stones but they look like um my brain is just not work see this is another reason why i wanted to go get the test done because every time i want to think of something it doesn't pop out um geoid like is that what they are like these are parts like real geoids so i thought they had this strand if you can focus focus not on me there you go this strand and i thought it would be cool you could have it with the sparkly side up so there was this color and look at this. I'm a blue girl. Like, look at that. So I thought that we could put some of these in, in mine. And they were on for 40% off. So they were $14.99. I think they were on for almost seven. And then I've never seen these before. They had, well, this was on sale too. This, the shells, like, look at their kind of, their, let me, I'll show you one back, one front. I'll flip it. Let's see, is that not the cool -est? So that might be put in maybe today's project. So I have decided we're going to do one of these trays, the dollar store tray. I paid $4 from Dollarama and we're going to play around. I, like I said, I used to, my mom and I had a store. We used to teach toll painting. We used to sell products and stuff like that. I have blue stain. I stained the top blue, thinking that that would be awesome to do like something in it. And this would be the, the back of it and have it kind of clear, maybe put some colors on it. So you still see the wood through it. So that's kind of cool. And I was really afraid because this is, this is what I've been using. This is what it has like probably 15 years old so I wasn't sure if it was any good so that's why I tried it on this and actually it looks pretty good so we're gonna play around with that in another video but today we're gonna do a beach pour on one of these so I'm gonna do part of it I'm gonna leave the raw wood and then I'm gonna do my layer and then blow over so I'm excited so that's what we're doing today I have my resin of choice crystal resin 
I just know how to use it. So that's what we're going with. And it is up in my kitchen sink, having a nice warm bath without the bubbles. And I'm going to go get that. I'm going to mix the resin up. And when I am mixing my resin, I am using a respirator. Um, when I come back, I'm choosing not to wear it so I can chat with you people. I will have gloves on. You use your PPE and all that stuff just to keep yourself safe. And this is the resin of choice. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my um, hot stuff from the sink and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Hello, I am back. I have mixed up four ounces of resin because I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I don't need a whole lot. So with that being said, I'm going to take my papers off of this. Oh my goodness. I don't know why they put stuff like this on things. We can deal with that later. It's on the back. The front is all good. And I'm just going to pour on it. So I have opted. Oh, I forgot to show you. I bought more bumblebee things too that come in the mail because I had to order those. Anyways, so I've got my, oh, another one stuck there. Sorry. So I've got my four ounces of resin. I am going to put a little bit in one of these to mix up my white for the um, the waves and I'm going to put three different colors and I'm saving clear because I want to do a portion of it just clear so you can see the wood. So let me get my mixed up stuff done first and I'm hoping this is good. It's been down here for a little while into the I'm going to move this so I don't get the pigment on it until I am ready for it. So this is my white. It is angel white. These are all pigments from Laura's art corner and also you can purchase them from Michelle, my Canadian distributor. Oh. I'm hoping these ones are good. I'm using my stir sticks because are these wooden oh yeah. This one I had to heat up. This one is, if I'm correct, it is the Peacock Dance from Larez. These are the ones I like to use for my um, ocean. And then this one is Ocean Aqua, again from Larez. I said I got these ones from Laura, but you can also get them from Michelle. All right, uh, stir and in there. Now I'm gonna try to get one of these. Uh, here, let me do the white because it's falling apart here. And I just want a little one. You don't use a whole lot for the waves, especially with that little bit of a board that I have. I had to order those bumblebees because I sold the, um, no, I didn't sell them. I gave them to my son's girlfriend for Christmas. The uh, coasters with the, the flowers with the white base and the bumblebees in them. So I quite enjoyed them. So I'm going to be in a sale. I'm hoping I'm applying for it. I hate these juried ones that you I've been in the sale before with these nice ladies, but it was with some of my jewelry. So there, so that's a bit dark. So I'm going to take this stick and go into this one and see if I can get an in between scrape off some of that. I just purchased another batch of these. I like these silicone ones as well. They're good. You can mix your paints up with them as well. Okay, and that's maybe a little lighter than I want. All right, much on this aqua one. Oh my goodness, Sherry. 
I may have to put a little more in that. This was the aqua. I want just a little bit more of a blue in it because it's such a lighter blue than the other one. I just dipped it in and I, I didn't scrape it off. I just So this will be the one closest to the, the shore. I still want it to be blue, right? Look, it's maybe I'll stick this stick in there. It's going to all amalgamate anyways together. Oh, there, that's a bit better. All right. I'll put that one back in there. I'll put this one back in here just so I don't I don't want to leave that stick in there with all that color on it. There we go. Perfecto, my friends. So, my little brain. My thoughts are I'm going to come across here. Oh, let me wipe my hands off. Come across here with clear because I don't want it to be straight. want to get that off my fingers so I don't get it all over the board and I might actually take the time and do this because Sherry is a klutz and I'm just going to tape the top edge of this don't want it on the top. Not too worried about the bottom. It's going to be all, or the sides, I should say, on the inside, because if it comes up, that's fine. Probably should be using the thinner one. straight edge on that, sorry. Everything sticking to my fingers. There's a little piece here I want to cover, just in case, right? And I'm just going to do this. And this is just a rough I might need to cut that off because I feel like it's going to be sticking underneath and causing a my tray not to be level. probably should be putting something here I'm gonna put this down here no maybe oh no sorry yes I will with the proper side and rip this in half do we'll do on the edges you want to go because it's kind of curved do it in a couple ah. there we go
And if it's not 100%, it's, it is what it is because I wasn't going to tape it, so. But it would be nice to have the upper part. Ah, there we go. It's clean. Now I'm going to take my scissors, which were right here, and cut all that off because it's going to be, make my tray uneven. So I'm just going to cut so that it's not underneath like this is and making it all wobbly. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I shouldn't have pushed it down so hard. <laughs> little piece should be fine. I just didn't want the big bulk that was here in the corner was causing my tray to lift. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to give it a good little rub. There we go. And if the odd little piece gets up there, I am, again, I'm not overly... There we go. Perfect. Done. All right. I want, let's do the clear first. We're going to try and do it on a angle and I'm just going for it guys. Help it go to the edge. Perfect. All right. So then we're going to do our layers. Let's start with the, the dark and work our way down. Oh, everything's sticking to me. And I want to go on that angle. I want all of that in. go. This is the middle. Just gonna spread it out. Because I know I don't probably have enough of the other to go all the way down. this down. Oh shoot, no, I'm losing my white. Ugh. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to turn my heater off. 
and I'm going to bring up my heat gun just to warm everything up a little here. Get it moving. I just want to make sure the wood is all covered before I start blowing crazy. Variation of color. Perfect. Love it. Love that you can still see the wood in there. Now, what I'm going to do is lay down some white. I lost half of the dish. I'm going to start with a really heavy line down here and do it onto. what would be the beach. My finger in there, there we go. And I'm gonna do a couple of lines up in here. Now that I got the tape there, I'm just gonna go with it here. And one here. We're going to play around with that and see where we go. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm excited. Oh, and I've got stuff in there already. <laughs> Don't step on the... I put... I always put everything on the floor and I just stepped on the... <laughs> the metal part of the... Uh, the heat gun. Okay, here we go. We're going to try and do some beautiful waves. I think this looks pretty. Now I'm going to put, I don't know if I should just leave it set like this. I'm going to put some, mm, do I even want to put shells in here? I'm going to put some shells. I'm going to let it sit for a few hours and then I'm going to come back, do a kind of a clear coat and do maybe a second layer of, um, because I could do another one in here, another in here. Oh, I'm excited, guys. It's kind of cool when a plan comes together. I did have stuff here. I was just like, where did I put it all? So I might, um, I like these little guys. 
whoopsie loser, I got those from the dollar store in one of these little jars. And I like them because they're... I have to take my glove off. I like them because they're little. So I'm thinking if I can put a couple in here. couple little ones over here. And I don't know. I was going to put some of this um, glittery sand stuff in there from another thing that I did, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it at that. But I, what I might do is blow it around where the shelves are so that the wave looks like it's going to crash into it. Oh my goodness! Let's go, here we go! Oh. Oh, maybe not. I will do one in here. No, we're going to do that next. Oh my goodness, I can't turn it off. Okay, I'm going to wait. I was going to put another one in here, but I, I, I do want to do a second layer on this. So I'm going to leave this dry or cure for a couple hours, and then we'll come back with a second coat and do another three-dimensional way. Oh my goodness. Here, let me bring it up. I think this looks cool. Love it. All right, guys, I'll see you in a few hours. Hello, I am back. This is more or less cured. Does that not look cool? So we're going to do a second coat. And we're going to throw in a few more of some waves. So I have mixed up four ounces. Oh, I keep sticking. I have little bits of resin stuck on my... Oh, I got something in there. Give me one sec, guys. There we go. I'm going to pour a little bit in here. And that is more than enough. And the rest, I'm just going to pour on top. I mixed up another four ounces. And I probably don't need that much. You know what I'm putting it all in there it's done there's room in there so that's fine I could have got away with a little bit less and I'm just gonna kind of move it around I'm going to get my spatula and just make sure there's no empty spots and then I will move it around with my heat gun. So I'm going to turn off my heater and here we go. We're going to blast out all of that bubbles and get it heated up. Blow it over to the edge, get it to the... I want it warmed up so it'll flow. There, so it's going to go into the corners. Not over. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. 
but that's all right. It's going to come down. I'm glad I put the tape on there. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of this Larez Angel White again into this little container. Just a little swirl. That should be enough. Give it a stir. Ah! I have, it's a little, a little jobby and I got it full. There we go. I'm going to set that under there. And I can see already there's that. Perfect. All right, so let's see. We're going to put another row here. I'm going to bring in a wave here. And one in here. Come on. And probably one here. Whoops. Clean that up just in case. And we're going to get our heat gun out again and make some waves. Here we go, guys. And I think I'm going to let it do its thing for a minute. I lost the seashells. I don't want a big clump here. Let's come back and see if I can blow this this way to get... So we can see the shells. There, perfect. trying to get that clump out of there. Awesome. Now I'm going to bring in my torch just to see if I can bring up some cells. Maybe not. But I think we are done here. Again, we're losing our... Let's see if I can... Tilt it this way. I think that's cool. All right, guys, I'm going to cover this, let it sit overnight, and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye.
Hello, this is dry, all cured. I'm just going to peel off this tape. I think this turned out amazing. I'm not used to putting this many waves. There we go. And you probably could do a little more of a layer in here. Ah, tape sticks everywhere. There we go. Now down here, I'm going to... It went over a bit here. See if I can. Oh, it did work. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. A little pieces here. And there we go. I am so impressed. This turned out amazing. Look at all that waves and little shells. Now these ones kind of got lost, but that's all right. I think it turned out pretty cute. A dollar star tray, four dollars. That turned out neat. All right, so there you go, my beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. That would be wonderful. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And hit the bell up there for notifications. So when you, when I put up a next video, you will get notified. And also, in my description box, I have the links to everything I used here today. And also, I have the links to my Facebook page. I have the links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. I have the links to um, where to purchase. Uh, Fundy molds with a discount code. I have also where to purchase um, Triart liquid glass. I also have the links to um, Let's Resin with a discount code, which it is Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. And then I also have the links to my two amazing La Res distributors, which we used in here today. I have um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American distributor, and my Glitter Guru. Um, it is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And also, um, there is the link to my PayPal if you choose to donate. So with that, my amazing people, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.